I'm going to add you in um, without further ado. I don't think you need any type of um, introduction. Oh, I'm not going to keep y'all waiting any longer. So we're going to get into this thing. It's going to be real, real quick, short, sweet, and that's it. Child, you did all that damn music and popping and all that bullshit, honey, booty grinding and all that stuff. No. Get your ass to bed. It's 8 o'clock. Look, tired as shit. Still ain't getting no nap. Did you take your nap? Listen, it was, it's, no. No, no. All right. No, I just, I was in motion, but it was just 8 o'clock, honey. Go to sleep. I know, I know my look. So listen, um, uh, we're not, I'm not going to ask you. So just to catch you up real quick, I did, the last six weeks we've been interviewing people that have been um, very influential in our community as an entrepreneur. Um, and as you know myself, uh, I met you at the beginning, the very, very beginning at my career, and you were one of the people that actually gave me an opportunity um, and helped me skyrocket my cleaning company. Mm -hmm. um, so, I did. Uh, yes, ma'am. So I, I, I'm very excited to be closing tonight out with you. Um, there is in nobody else that I would have rather done this with tonight, and I want to thank you first because I know your schedule is busy for giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, so great. I'm not going to ask you a bunch of questions. Well, I want come on. To I want you to just freely talk and give these people some tips from from your experience based on entrepreneurship because you face so so much adversity. Um, mm -hmm. You face so many things that just everybody can't deal with. I have a friend that said, Marcus, if I went through the things that you went through, I just don't know if I could have survived. But you survived those things as an entrepreneur. You built an empire on your own, mom. So I want you to just first share. It's three different things I want us to speak on. One to help these entrepreneurs on how to overcome adversity when they're faced with difficulties, when they're faced with uh, uh, um, friendships, when they're faced with relationships, when they're faced with being told no, 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 and just hasn't gotten that yes yet. How do you deal with adversity? How do you overcome that? Well, I mean, um, it all depends on what your real determination is. If you are really determined on uh, something specific, you have to know that when you're determined or when you when you know that there's something specific that you're you're going after, you have to know that you're going to be met with extreme adversity and you're going to also hear no a million times. But see, the, see a lot of people uh, get discouraged by the countless amounts of no's, mm. you know, and a no is always I've had to start accepting that no is always a blessing because, you know, at the end of the day, no does not mean no. Right. It's all no means sometimes no, not at this moment, or no, it's not ready, or no, it wouldn't rock it, or no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't explode, or no, it wouldn't receive the impact that you know it it uh it would uh, you know would have achieved if you would have stepped in the door right now. Sometimes we think we want a lot of stuff, or, or sometimes we think that you know um we're ready, but we really are not. Mm. we really we, we mm. haven't been through enough to be ready for what we really are ready for you know so I, I, listen if i would have got in business um or, or 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 been the way that i am now with the mindset that i had back then i wouldn't be ready for the things that that have happened right. the, the stuff that has happened yeah. Uh, yeah. In, in the course of my career like i would have yeah. been i would have met it with with malice, I would have been banji. I would have been, yeah. you know, I would have given up or I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I would have given up, but I think I would have just, I would have stuck my own foot in my mouth, you know, by not yeah. being able to, uh, it's called polishing. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sometimes come on. you got to polish yourself up, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. And, 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 and you, usually when you're going through this, you never really see this stuff you never really see it the way that it's it's manifesting for you mm -hmm. until you get put in a situation and you say, damn, three years ago, I would have slit that bitch. Th you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. I would have, I would have drove my car into a bitch house, you know, yeah. and three yeah. years ago, my mind would have been that. Like if I'd have been faced with the situation, you know, so I get it. And, I think people need to understand that no is definitely a, a blessing lots of times because the more you hear no, the more it, it, it builds up your your resilience and the more it builds up your your stamina to go. Because yeah. you know what you've seen. I always speak about about having the vision and mm -hmm. about um 
whatever is planted in your brain uh, in the middle of the night that only you know or only you've seen what God has given you to see. And nobody else, everybody else around you could possibly, you know, say, girl, what do you keep doing that for? Or like, girl, this is tired. Just like even with even with things centered around me right now, you know, it's, I don't really want to, you know, dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we but, don't you know, whatever. stuff that, that be centered around me, you know, people like, oh, well, I don't like her or, or she's not entertaining or she's boring or she's yeah. this and the other. And you start listening, you know, to lots of things, you know, that goes on around you. But then God places people who share the same vision. Yeah, yeah that you have and he'll put those people in places that will help elevate you to that space Definitely. that will help elevate you and bring you to that spot like you know five thousand people over here may not find you attractive or they may not find you to be what may fit their mold but 500 people over here might find you to be able to fit you know what the, it is that they're selling or, or or see the vision that you have and you fit right into that. And where you'd be thinking that you'd make more money in the masses here, you know, because it's, it's these thousands of people watching you here. And then you got 500 people over here watching you here. Exactly. These are the people that's really spending the money. Exactly. Right. You know, right. yeah. and you yeah. have to, you have to remain focused and it gets, it's, it's very difficult to remain focused when you have so much negativity, you know, coming at you and thrown at you. However, what you have to do in those situations when you see the more how can I put this so that you can really absorb it the well the more negativity you see coming towards you and any goal that you're trying to reach mm -hmm. lets you know that you are on the right path on the right path because all of that negativity is a deter mechanism Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it deters you to yeah. look away it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's designed to make you lose focus right because all you hear is this and you hear that and you yeah. and you know and it wants you to believe that these yeah. are things that it, it wants you to believe that oh well it's not going to happen for me you know this person said it's not going to happen this one and it's not looking like it's happening the, all of that stuff is, the, is is really the trick of the enemy which knows that the vision was put in your in your eyes he the enemy knows that the mm -hmm. enemy knows that the, that you saw the vision because he's the enemy saw the vision yeah and the only person that can stop you from going and uh, reach, reaching your goal or reaching your vision would be you yeah. if you allow yourself to stumble um or uh, or Definitely. absorb the things that that's been coming to you yeah. and apply it to yourself i don't let none of that shit bother me none of Look, it and, and, and it's real mom i've been there and i've witnessed it right but i know what you just said oh so well to be so so true um i know for me my uh my cleaning business is based on um my marketing and referral base so i was faced with the situation um with one of our fellow uh, uh entrepreneurs uh the loving hip-hop you know people um in atlanta and i was played with in the booking process and I was very passionate about making sure that I uh, gave her, um, that I exceeded the expectation. Um, however, um, I talked to somebody that does PR and I was really, really upset because the booking didn't go through. Uh, they wasted my time and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And so I took it as a no, I took it as a form of rejection. And it, I was very, very upset because I knew how beneficial it could possibly, or I thought it could, very, it could be very beneficial uh, possibly to my business. And a friend of mine that does PR, he shared, Mark, listen, 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 listen. First of all, you're giving that person too much. You don't know why they said no. And that might just not be the best thing for you because you don't even want those type of followings that they have to come because they're not going to spend the money. Them ain't your people. That's not your type of people. So I get what you're saying when you're being told no, 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 no. And you got to really sit back and think sometimes that ain't for you. You think you want it, but it ain't well, for you. It, it, well, it's, it's not for you. And sometimes you're not really ready. Like the, a lot of people get get blessed immensely, and we, we we always look at like how the fuck did this bitch win the lottery and they broke? Yeah. They wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. They were not ready because because and and you have to know when you're ready. It's because the same things you do with the small amounts of stuff. Sometimes you're tested. These be tests. These be tests of your character. They be they they be tests of your wit. They be tests of your endurance. They're they're tests of you know, how faithful you are. 
you know, and I, I was raised biblically. So, you know, and, yeah. and a lot of things, I, you know, yeah. whatever, I may reference that because that was the way, but, but a, lot, a lot of that, those teachings that was raised, it's, it's, they're like parables. Yeah. You know, and I can apply those parables to myself. Um, it's been plenty of times that, you know, I was like, well, maybe like, like I've only had a thousand bucks mm -hmm. or whatever. If you can't do good with a thousand dollars, what the fuck you gonna do with ten thousand? With ten, yeah. If yeah, you can't yeah. do good with ten thousand dollars, what you gonna do with a hundred thousand? Exactly. If yeah. you ain't managing a, you know, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right? What you gonna do with a million dollars? Yeah. And then, and lots of times, people say, you know, God goes go go on ahead, and He says, here you go. Let me see. Let me show you that you're really not ready. Yeah, and, and 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 they're thrown these things, and then after they're thrown these things, they're broke because yeah. they didn't do right with the with the thousand dollars they had. So therefore, you know, you weren't gonna do right with a million. Yeah. So you know, this is why I know was unnecessary. People people really don't understand that no is necessary. Failure is ne listen. If you are in a business or anything that that is going to excel you to, to the next place, you have to endure failure. It's Definitely. you have to, Definitely. you have to not just know, yeah. not just know, you have to endure failure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it has to, it has to crumble down, break in front of you. It has yeah. to, it has to dismantle right in front of you. It, it, these things have to happen to you in yeah. order for you to rebuild reconstruct yeah. and to focus like well maybe the foundation that i built it on the first time really Ain't wasn't as sturdy as i thought it was going to be yeah. Yeah. so it because it, if, if it shook that easy and hmm. dismantled that easy yeah. it was never going to be solid in the long run it wasn't going to be solid so sometimes this stuff has to happen and lots of times people say to me or tears massive, like you know, as I get tore up, like they tear me up in the they, in the, they be tearing you they, up. They tear mama. me up in the social media, they tear me up, like they read me, they do all of these things. But like at the end of the day, when all of that shit is done, I I, I sleep very comfortable at night. Yeah. I have to sometimes, and it's and it's okay for you to go to the mirror, look in the mirror and and, and reaffirm to yourself, like bitch, this is a fictitious place that these people, these people only know me by by a, by a screen name. Yeah, I live yeah. in a real world. Yeah, when I yeah. lay down at night, I'm not I'm not hurting for anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Listen, I have the I have the luxuries of doing whatever it is that I choose to do. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up in the morning. I get. I have. I'm walking in the path that was was designed for me. Yeah. Like even though I look around sometimes and I'd be like, "Well, damn, I should," because I, 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 we all do it. Yeah, yeah. I should be here. I should be there. I should be there. And God will always send me a friendly reminder and be like, "Listen." When it's time for you to be in those places, you will occupy You'll those spaces. That. However, you're walking in the path that you need to be walking in right now. Are you homeless? Mm. Are you hungry? Mm. Are you, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I'm, I'm providing you all the things that you need. You yeah. know, do what, do the work that you need to plant the seeds in the ground and make sure the seeds that you plant in the ground are something that you're going to be, you know, ready to harvest when the harvest time comes. Definitely. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely. definitely. So it's just like you got to walk in your season. You got to walk in that. Like you got like like. Listen, I talk in heavy about well, people like to say that I like to brag because I, I got I, I got my house and all this stuff. This was one of the biggest accomplishments for me. You know, when I when my first girl, I'm going to be coming up soon. I'm going to be you know, get me a new house, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but this was a big accomplishment for me before, I mean, uh, now, because before, be, because before, I was in an apartment, mm -hmm. and I was in an apartment, I, and I said this once, I was in an apartment, there was mold in the wall, the floor was cracking, the air conditioning mm. was leaking, and I was trying my hardest to go out and hook, pour, and slut to bring money in to keep that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To keep that place. I didn't yeah. even fathom that I would be, at, I would be not at a leasing office, not at a rental office, but I would be sitting in a closing, you mm. know, at a closing on a place mm. with, with 
what was on my background and yeah, you yeah. know all this i never thought that i would be occupying that space so this i don't cherish it it's like i don't worship yeah. it. i look at it as all the times that i was really you know thinking that i just need to pay my rent here i just mm. need to get this place straight and god mm. was doing all types of stuff god the universe or whatever you want to call it was giving me like you got to get out of here you have to you yes, have to yes. get out of here you know but you know what you don't want to get out of here you got to go through this or whatever yeah 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 when i got to this stuff and i walked around here i appreciated it i cher i cherished it not because of the material behind it yeah. but because my mind was so solid in one space of i'm just trying to keep this apartment i didn't even fathom that i'd be at a closing you know yeah. or yeah. even in yeah. conversations about getting you know another place three times the size of this so you know you don't think about these things until you you start to reflect back on all the no's yep all the failures all the counted out situations you don't think about that until you really sit back and you start looking at that stuff and like damn hmm. you know what i'm saying like damn and then then sometimes we people in business think that you know or, or or tend not to want to lose this is why i say sometimes failure is definitely a a, ne a necessity in moving forward in business it has to dismantle in front of you yeah it has to come apart in front of you, it pushes it you. because sometimes it you're so you solid in it you're solid yeah in that place that you get comfortable and yeah. the vision that's been implanted in you don't stop in that space mm -hmm. so you you it, it, everything that goes on is a necessity i'll share this with you mom real quick um and i appreciate you for you 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 minister <laughs> you preach it at night mom. but, but it's um, the truth yeah. i mean this is the way and this is how i don't let things bother me people ask me like why are your confidence so high i said Bitch, my confidence is high because i used to be a hoe and as a hoe I used to watch all the hoes that was better than me, prettier than me, mm. finer than me, more passable than me. Mm. I used to see them experiencing at that, at, at that time. At that time, at well, that even time. Then, like I used to ex see them experiencing all the hardships and traumas of the stuff. And I'm like, you supposed to be a bad bitch. How we at work? How me? How you a bad bitch? And we at the same job, and you can't keep your lights on. You yeah. ain't no better than me. Yeah. Bitch, I'm the, I don't feel no less than I don't feel less than damn hoe. Yeah. I don't feel no As less than damn hoe, damn bitch. I don't think I don't. I'm not intimidated by nobody because bitch, I've been in. I've had. To, I've occupied spaces with the baddest of bitch. I occupy spaces with with, with cisgender genetic women. I don't. Yeah. I'm not yeah. intimidated by anybody because yeah. I know it's in the grand scheme of things and what is designed for me to receive. I'm gonna get that, and I have yeah. to walk in that in that assurance and knowing that. And me seeing them hoes getting put out, they shit, seeing they cars getting repossessed, seeing all kind of stuff happen to them, it boosted my confidence. Like, girl, there is no way that I could be the ugly one. And bitch, I'm doing better than y'all. Uh uh, it ain't working. And Listen, something, ain't right, something not adding up. Yeah, that something lets me up. know that my my mind was in a different space. And yeah. this is why your mind, your mind have to be so deeply Woo. rooted in bitch. It's the mindset. Y'all may not see the y'all may not see the goal, or you may not have seen the vision, but I saw it. Mm. It was putting me at, 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 at 11, 12, 15 years old, seven years old. I saw that. You might not have seen it, but I did. I know what's coming. I know yeah. all of these no's. Y'all bitches trying to make me feel some kind of way. You talk to the spirit, the demons, or whatever it is. Y'all bitches trying to make me feel some kind of way. You cannot. I know what it is. Yes. Think something will get taken away from you. You might lose a car. You might lose a house. You yes. might lose something. But it yes. has to dismantle in front of you sometimes to, one, to test your faith. And two, if it is, if your world is easily shaken by the what you build, by, by the foundation that you built that stuff on, if it's easily shaken like that, it was not going to last in the long run anyway. No.
definitely not. Gonna happen. Definitely not. I agree, Mo. So the um the next I was gonna share like a a a, a bit of um something with you but we'll have that conversation just one-on-one -on -one with me and you um and i'll move past that because we'll be all night uh but um i want you to just give some of our entrepreneurs out here um i i don't think i've faced this yet and I, I hope i don't really i don't want to experience this but for you you've been in the game for a long time and you've done a, a, a you have a very diverse career um mm. i don't want to go too too far back i like where i'm at i like where we're at right here but mm -hmm. um you've done I mean I don't so, mind talk I don't mind yeah. talking about that. Well yeah, you've done care. you've done so much that you've done so many different things that are so far from each other. You've been on so many different platforms. Mm -hmm. Um but I want you to share with people how you separate your personal life from the business while you're building a brand because a lot of people that's difficult. We're 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 people, we're human, uh we have emotions, we have feelings, and um I have been taught that most of the time when you make an emotional decision, it don't come out the right way. You got to take your feelings out of it. I've witnessed firsthand um, you and, uh, uh, you know, in the beginning of the Queen Supreme Court, the hosts and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I've witnessed how you have been harassed. I've witnessed how you have been tested. I've mm -hmm. witnessed how you have just had to hold your tongue and be the bigger person. How do you separate the personal, you see what I'm saying, from the business and continue to build your brand. Well, I mean, you got, once again, it's about the focus. It's about the focus. You have to remain focused on that and you have to always keep uh, uh, that thing in the back of your mind knowing that, I hate to make this biblical. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go My ahead. book told me he will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And as long as you know Yes, ma. Yes, yes, yeah. As long yeah. as you know that, yeah, you got to keep putting. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of. I, I don't worry yeah. about all the other stuff. Yeah, and he will make them same enemies your footstool. So yeah. as long as you, as long as you keep that in the back of your mind, you know, you, you it keeps you pressing forward. But but to separate the personal life from it, it is hard because for one, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. I love my fans. I love my fans like I love like I like they like we're like we're you know this yeah, yeah. and you know I don't play stuff when it comes down to my mom I don't play none of that like no. I don't play them being treated no kind of way at no venues I don't play Nothing. Them being talked Zero to like out of way I don't I don't tolerate that because I I have love and admiration and respect for those people because those people don't have to give me one dollar they can mm. give me a view or they can give me an encouraging word bitch I know where my background come from. Yeah. I don't need a bitch reminding me that, that yeah. I've done X, Y, and Z. That's not something that I need you to remind me. I know where I come from. I know this. You feel yeah. me? I know. And bitch, <laughs> quiet as a skip. Bitch, you hoes know where I came from, too. Right. That's why you pressed and bothered. Yeah. Things because <laughs> you know I don't let that define me nor yeah. stop me. Yeah. So, you know, I, I love my people that fight hard for me and go hard in the paint for me because those people are a part of what changed my life. They are a part of, you know, what made my business grow, what made my brand go. They are a part of my vision. Like, yeah. even though they're 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 with me now, that they don't know that I've seen them in my vision. Like, they are a part of the whole grow up. So, you know, I, I, it, it, I, be have, I sometimes I feel like I have a, a, a personal investment in them because these are people who've grown with me. I've been on, I've been on the internet for about. 15 years, yeah. 14, 15 years. Well, before yeah. that, because baby, I was, oh, I was in, I was on the <laughs> internet and under, under the, under a nigga mattress, bitch. <laughs> under some of them old ma mattress. Wait, <laughs> in. Wait, boy. Pulling out the DVD. You get, right. well, let's not even get started there. Of yeah, how, yeah. Even when I was over there in that business, how I would not let the quote unquote, the white man control yeah. the way you know, that I made my money. Like, no, I own my master's, bitch. You feel me? Yeah. And everybody was like, well, well you, you know, you would be more mainstream if you did this and the other. And I was like, I was, I'm never concerned about being mainstream. I'm concerned about what type of residuals come in for me. And even when I make business decisions and business deals now, in this space that I'm occupying in now. Listen, y'all. Listen. Listen, y'all. I make sure that T.S. Come on. 
is somewhere in the Boston process. Come on. If I'm the worker, I ain't got no control. I don't I don't got no ownership. If I ain't got no ownership in it, if I, I, if I ain't got my hands in it, if I ain't got no say, if I ain't got no something that when, when all this shit closed down and shut down that I can't eat after it's over, yeah. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. And that's why a lot of times I haven't been in occupying these spaces because I don't have any the control. Yeah. Not that I have to be a control freak. No, but, but my name just that I, Yeah. My 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 foundation ain't it's it's it'll be easily shook and it won't last in the long run. Yeah. I need my foundation to be strong enough to 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 carry me even after I'm done. Like listen, I don't suck dick, get fucked, lick. I don't do none of the things yeah. uh, that I did a, a a decade ago. I don't do none of that shit no more. Yeah, I, that's not what I do. But at the end of the day, I branded myself so hard. In everything that I do, that you can't just lock me in and say, "Oh, well, she's a porn star." No, yeah. bitch, I did. I, no, uh, I was the boss. Me yeah. and the porn stars are two different things. Me and and the when I fans, meet, when you me, meet you, you don't get that. Like, I listen, care but you, I'm just you, addressing it. Yeah. Me and I, me and a boss, me and a porn star, not the same thing. Me and a, me and the OnlyFans girl, we're not the same. And that's no shade to no, OnlyFans, no, no. nothing, because I'm 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 looking at these girls. Girls, you know, coming out eating. I'm like, bitch, I was telling y'all to do this shit years ago. And y'all yeah, looking down y'all yeah. nose at me. You feel me? Yeah. But even then, you still don't own your masters. Yeah. Only fans owns that bitch. I own all my shit. Mm. I could I could take my website down, reconstruct it, put DVDs together, do all of that. Listen, and if when a bitch say that they see my shit on Pornhub or they see my shit on this place and that place, bitch, I got contracts with those people, bitch. When you mm -hmm. watch that, I'm still getting a check from that. Yeah, definitely. I had to make sure that in the paperwork that the TS, you got to make sure when you get in your business that even when you land down on your sofa. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again, Mom. <laughs> Listen, Ma, that leads me to my next question, right? Um, so I've been trying. Hold on, y'all. What was that? <laughs> yes. Listen, Mom. Um, explain to these people, the entrepreneurs, right? You're a master at this. And I feel like you, you've done it naturally. It just comes to you. I don't feel like you strategically make any tactics to do this. You just do it. But if there's any tips, any ideas, anything that you can give our budding entrepreneurs out here, um, I just want to talk about before I let you go, and this is we're closing with this, um, how important branding and marketing is. Let me, uh, let me explain to you how important branding and marketing is. If oh. anybody goes to their phone right now and they type in the words big, dick, bitch, I don't own any of those words. I don't own those words. Those are not mine. That's not something that I own. But bitch, I was so hard in branding my, my that yeah. that brand for myself. You get what I'm saying? That yeah. you type those words and uh, pictures of pictures and videos of me gonna come up. I don't own those words. Yeah. That's how. That's why I'm still collecting residuals, and that's why I'm still making money from that stuff. Because bitch, I when I was going hard, when it's time for you to go hard, <laughs> you go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's about your business and shit like that, you go hard. Because, bitch, you can type in them three words right now. A photograph of me going to come up. Yeah. Naked or close. Ball-headed, naked, whatever. You can see. I'm not, that, that's why I'm not. That, I own that. And yeah. I don't own now one of those words. Big dick, bitch. You put them three somewhere. T.S. is coming up somewhere. And that's why yeah. I still eat. You know how other hoes' checks been done dried up? No, yeah. Matter. I still eat because I, I commanded that, that area. And not only that, okay, it's because I knew my lane. I knew mm -hmm. I didn't. The problem why a lot of businesses fail is because they're trying to be like everybody else's business. Yeah, yeah. Be yourself, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Step your pussy up, honey. Get a job. I'm yes. a business, bitch. Suck a dick. Yes. Bitch, this the problem is they trying to be like everybody else. Everybody else, else. yeah. Be your business, do your shit, and motherfucking set your tone for what yours is like, and then everybody else will follow. We'll I'm follow. a trendsetter, bitch. I don't go through all of that. I know what I do. 
I'm looking, I'm sitting back here now watching all the OnlyFans. And I'm like, girl, I was telling y'all this years ago when y'all was looking down y'all nose at me, saying ill and uh, and whoop, not, not, not all the stars and celebrities yeah, yeah. got OnlyFans with their dicks and stuff out. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. I told y'all this years ago, y'all. So now it's okay. And yeah. Kim Kardashian had her legs in the air and Ray J was deep sea di scuba diving in that big pussy. And she, ooh, ah, ah. Y'all yeah. was giving her a pass, but yeah. you weren't giving your black folks a pass that was out right. there doing whatever. And whatever. they was buying it. Listen, they were buying it. I, listen, I'm they up off my, it. I'm up off my back. I don't have, I don't have to do any of that. You get what yeah. I'm saying? And because hoes speak my name in those sentences, like, oh, you're talking about that porno girl? I don't even a picture of me in clothes and stuff. I don't even talk about that. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. They keep, they do the the promotion that those people give me when they when they scream out pornography. Keeps me. If you hoes want me to stop laying on my sofa reading y'all bitches, and this ain't, I ain't talking to the mob. I'm talking to those outside lurkers. If yeah. you want me to stop laying on my motherfucking sofa, bitch, eating bun buns, watching TV, bitch, with my wig off and doing the stuff, stop giving me full free promotion, bitch. Yeah. In the words of that other bitch, stop giving me full free promotion. Yeah, yeah. Talking about how much porn I done did. I done did that, bitch. I ain't, I ain't shaming it out. That's you all struggling. I never was a struggle queen, bitch, yeah. when it came to that. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. I think so, that it's a stigma when it comes to, um, I think it's a, it's the stigma when it comes to what you started out doing is perceived. We look at most, and even me at a very young age, um, I was faced in my relationship with them. You know, I, I, they were messing around with somebody and they were a porn star, what we call a porn star. Mm -hmm. And I, I said a, a lot of bad things about them at the time and I didn't understand. And I looked at it as, oh, you a hoe, you a freak. And with you, Maddie, it literally was a job. Like you share nowadays, you don't you even be out screwing. Like you don't even have to, you, ain't, you don't be with no sex and all of that and all of that. You literally made it, you literally branded it and it was work for you. You were passionate about it. It was work for you and you weren't a, a hoe. You get what I'm saying? And I think a lot of people, they misunderstand it and they don't well, know how listen, to separate. And let's talk about it. Yeah. When, I, when, when, when a lot of people found out about me on the internet, they found me through a six second Vine video. Come on in, new week, I remember. Week, week, week. I was screaming then, bigdaybitch.com. They didn't even Brandy. know the residual coins that I was making coming in off of that because they they the ones made me explode socially mm -hmm. like that because I was in my space, minding my business and my element, trying to promote my brand, which which was at the time bigdaybitch.com. Big yeah. They had no idea that they were fueling my per they were they were solidified they were they were also a part of branding me yeah. because they that yeah. shit spread across the world yeah so yes, I don't, it it's like yeah. I don't even have to speak hmm. one two I had a conversation with some people the other day they asked me they said uh, T S Madison why don't you take your T to take the T S off of your name I said sweetie I don't work too hard for that I'm like Anna Mae Bullock the yeah. name stays yeah. I don't work too hard for that. Bitch, I done been through hell and high water with T.S. Bitch, yeah, I know yeah. I'm laughing. I know what T.S. stand for. Yeah. That's why somebody say, you, so you say you just Google? Yes, ma'am. Man, I was a bad yeah. motherfucker out here in these streets. Yeah. I was small. But I was a yeah. bad motherfucker yeah. out here. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, too. Even after I crossed over into mainstreamish places, like from yeah. that little, that me with my clothes off, crossed me over. I didn't come in in a, in a traditional way, like I had a publicist or a PR. Bitch, I was my own publicist, my own PR. I was yeah. in my own lane, doing my own thing. And this is why business people out there that's watching and listening to me, it is important that you capture your own lane, magnify your own lane, stay in your lane, and do what you need to do and strengthen your lane. Because yeah. your lane will become so wide that you'll move everybody else off the motherfucking road, you know, without even trying because you're in your you're in your lane. I've always yes. been in my lane. Yeah. When I listen, I'm doing pornographic movies to I was I was online talking about it. I never got out of the brand. I was online. Yeah. This is how a lot of people found me on YouTube. Yeah. I started talking about it, chronicling chronicling my life picking up my camera and we didn't even use cell phones then it was those little pix cameras those little cameras like those little chichi down there chichi no 
the it small was little cameras, me and Chi Chi. Those yeah. little bitty cameras. I used to walk around in the store vlogging, following myself, you know, interview, interviewing my bitch. You didn't want to interview me? I I'll interview my motherfucking yeah. self and I yeah. put it out online and somebody just stro stumble across it. And I knew my mouth. I know what I said out of my mouth. I know. And I didn't do it for attention because my mouth been the same since whoever ran across me, you know, they found, they found yeah. it. Bitch, yeah. I was online with my own phone, with my own, my own little camera. Yeah. Uploading my life. I wasn't yeah. fucking with nobody. I wasn't bothering with nobody. And, and bitch, when TV shows came out, I started talking about, my, I remember my first thing, I was talking about Tammy Roman. I talked about Tammy Roman. I talked about, I just talked the basketball wise, like all this shit, like this stuff I've been doing. Just yeah. because some people may have stumbled across me in that intersection in 20, 2017, you know, I've been online. Yeah. That's how I bitch found Somebody me. said with the SD card. With the Listen, SD card. when we used to have to transfer from the F yes, in my space, all that, that's how yeah. bitch, bitch found me, Black Planet. Yeah. I've been online. So yeah. my thing is, I've stayed true to my brand. I've stayed true to my lane. I've never tried to cross, go outside of my lane and never tried to, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I, said, oh, I, 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 uh, I, I ain't never seen her talk. Bitch, you ain't watched me. Bitch, I've been talking. I've been online. I've been online reading. I've been online talking about social issues. I've been talking about things that's going on in my own community. I've been talking about shit that go on my body. I've been talking about my job. Like, there's nothing that you can throw out there that I haven't told you. I, yeah. You just might not have stumbled across and seen it, but bitch, yeah. the Madden mob been, that's been on that's been on my ass. They've been on my ass they know. for yeah. about 15 years. So. You know, I, I've seen so many no's. No, 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 no. I've gotten so many yeses. You feel me? Listen, when 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 my mortgage company said yes and I signed at the bottom, I was a I was I That's all the rest you needed. Yeah. I have to stress this so that people can understand. Yeah. I was not even the girl that I am now. Yeah. The girl that I am now, when I go back to that to my mortgage company and I sign on the bottom line of my new motherfucking ca Casa de my, my Casa de Casa, because it ain't gonna be the marvelous chateau no more. It's no. gonna be welcome to Buckingham, bitch. Yes, yes. When, yes. I, when yes. I do that, you feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be in that new the new TS that I am now. You feel yeah. me? Everybody yeah. out there that is hustling and grinding. Everybody else that is hustling and grinding, you have to remain who you are, but you still have to evolve. You have to evolve Mint, Excuse me. Let me use the correct word. You have to transition. Mm. Transition don't just apply to transsexuals, transgender mm. women, transgender men. You have to transition. You have to transition in your thinking, in your thought process. You have to transition in your friends. You have to transition mm. in the way that you the way that you handle finances. You have to transition in the way that you communicate with people. You got to transition. Because yes. as long as you stay in that spot, you will definitely stay in that spot. Listen, y'all, it's hot tonight. It's hot tonight. Listen, you guys have heard it from the T.S. herself, you guys. It is all about starting with your mindset first. You have to transition with your friendships. I know this all too well, Ma, and this is so, so real. When I started my business, I was faced with all of those things. And some of those friends have come back into my life now, but it's different. I had to move friends around. I had to move money around. I had to move. My mindset had to shift and had to change. That mm -hmm. is so true, you guys. I will, I'm not going to keep you uh, any longer, Ma. Before you go, um, we end every interview with, um, and I, I'll do it for you so you get it. Uh, Listen, it, the, the comments coming fast. You know my vision bad, bitch. I'm down. Look, I'm when they said, yeah, somebody said, I've been transitioning. Somebody said, Maddie, I'm about, baby, baby this is a message. Transition your life. Yeah, transition. You you have said uh, uh, so much tonight, Ma. So, so, so much. And I know that it's going to help somebody because that's what you've been doing. You, you put your life on the forefront and you've exposed mm -hmm. yourself uh, 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 so much for people mm -hmm. to be able to help them. You've made people laugh. And listen, you and, and listen, I don't think I'm better than nobody. Yeah. I don't. I yeah. don't. Because yeah. I don't mind telling them I've been down to the ground, but I'm not there anymore. I've transitioned. See, a lot, see, bitches yeah. that think that you think that you better than them, they mm. mind they transition. Because if they mind was transition, they would see they that you're you not occupying that space. Yeah. I had one of my... What like, about exes? Tell me something. You boo, you did this. Now you think you, uh, uh, what is, tell me, you think you better than, you think you bougie. No, it's my mindset. The, the mind, you know, you ain't their, mind, their, their mind ain't caught up with you. Mm -mm. Their mind haven't caught up with you. 
Nope. N listen, nigga, you know you got to get up and go to work in the morning. What you partying all night for? Yeah. It's the mindset. Listen, your mind ain't your mind ain't there. Yeah. Yeah. I know I can't be, I know, listen, people say, oh, I'm boring and I'm this and the other. I know I can't be online reading every bitch in the United States of America. I got to work out here in these streets. Yeah. I got yeah. to work. I, yeah. I, there's a, there's a proper way of saying what you want to say, getting your point across, and moving forward. If I'm born, you ain't got to follow me. It's a bitch that's listen. I'm you got to transition your mind, and you got to know you saw the vision. You saw it. God put the vision in your eyes, and yeah. everybody else around you that did He didn't give them your vision. He gave your vision to you, and, right. and He gave your vision to you, and He He'll set up people. That's a part of your vision, cause and you'll recognize them. Yes, he will. You'll recognize yes, will. the motherfucking people. You'll be like, damn, cause yes. they'll be speaking the same. They'll be speaking the same language you speak in. Yeah. They'll yeah. be talking that same transitional mind shit that you talking. They'll yeah. be talking to you like, damn, you really a part. You are a part of my journey. Yeah. You you are. You yeah. know. Yeah. And then and it's not you acting funny. It's not mm -hmm. you. You know, well, I don't fuck with this person no more. No, it's it's very much so. Wait a minute. Yeah. You ain't on my path no more. That's all. Or you ain't in my you ain't in, you in my rear view. You ain't in my forward view. I like I you can't look behind you. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I want to thank you so much um on that. You 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 was preaching tonight. <laughs> you were preaching tonight. Listen, you asked me about some shit that yeah. I'm <laughs> I thank you so, so, so much. And I value you um, as a friend. I value you for who you are and everything that you stand for. And everybody, we all love you. We all appreciate you. Continue, continue to be the person you are and never shift, never, never change who you are. Just continue to grow. Continue Bitch, to grow, Mom. You ain't got to worry about it. Now, my mind may transition, but I listen. Yes, you're going to say I, that same thing. That's right. So before you go, we do something that is called, um, okay, so we say, uh, I'm, I'm T.S. Madison, and entrepreneurship means to me, and then you say whatever it means to you. Um, I just want you to Listen, show I'm T.S. Madison, and ownership, fuck Come on. entrepreneurship. Come on. Ownership means everything to me, because at the end of the day, when you old, decrepit, blind, senile, and sitting on your fucking sofa, you need that income to still be rolling in to take care of your... The, the book says a wise man leaves an inheritance for his family. Come on now. Come on. You need to be very much so working on working on that part of the book where it says be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful. Be fruitful in your be fruitful in your business. Be be fruitful in what you share. Be yeah. fruitful in the knowledge that you put into the next person so that yeah. so that your 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 legacy and who you are can multiply. Yeah. Even while you ain't here. So mm. ownership to me means being fruitful and multiplying. My you guys, today. listen, this is an all-exclusive interview with the T.S. Madison and your favorite host, Mark LeBron. And this is Own It, you guys. I love you, Ma. Go ahead and get you some rest. I love you, love you so much, Ma. And I'm going to see you soon. I need to pull up on Miss Mary. I need some of that food. What she got yes. over there? Child, we get ready. To, we get, well, listen, listen now. You know y'all got to be quarantined because I got to keep the I, pussy safe. I ain't with all you that. You know I'm the cleaner guru, though, Ma. You know I'm the damn I can be the cleaner guru. Now. You already know I've been, listen, it's hard out here for a pimp. I'm over here scoring. Leave it on the porch. Leave my plate on the porch. Now I'm down there to the park. Mm, I hear you. All right. <laughs> All right. I bitch. love you, Mom. I love you Get too. You some rest. All right, baby. Bye bye. Okay, bye. bye, -bye. Listen, you guys, that was an all-exclusive interview with the T.S. Madison, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in tonight, you guys. Um, I hope you took something with you tonight. I hope you learned some very valuable lessons uh, uh, tonight on how to be a stronger entrepreneur, but overall, a better person. You guys love on somebody. You guys help somebody out. Lend a helping hand. Be kind to somebody, you guys, and continue to grow, you guys. You heard it from the T.S. herself. It starts in the mind, you guys. And that's where it all starts, that you can continue to grow from there. And like she said, it doesn't stand just for trans men. and trans. It starts for everybody to transition, you guys. You have to transition, you guys. Until next Wednesday, guys, tune in next Wednesday at 8 p.m. I love you guys, and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a great night, you guys.